Hello, this is Eric Chappelle, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 3. In this exercise, we're going to continue configuring Civil 3D so that it can display property information gathered in the field. We're going to open the drawing called Property Survey, which you can see I already have open, and the Essentials 6 Survey Database. We're going to import some new information into this drawing, and we want to set up some description keys and line work codes so that when that data is imported it comes in on the right layers with the right styles and, uh, and that, that sort of thing. So we'll begin with step one by setting up a few description keys. So I'm going to go to the settings tab of the tool space and under point description key sets I'm going to locate the essentials description key set and launch the edit keys command and what we want to do is create a new key. So I'll right click and click new and that'll generate a new key in the dialog. This new key is going to be ROW star for right of way. The style will be bound. The point label style will be default format dollar sign star and the layer will be V node boundary. And I'll make this dialog a little wider so that we can see the information a bit better. So that's our first code. I'll right click and say new for another code. And this one is going to be prop star and the the star or the asterisk allows additional information to be provided after the code and yet still have it match the description key this style uh, is going to be iron pin point label style will be default format dollar sign star layer will be the same as the previous code v v node boundary. Alright, so that takes care of our two description keys and what that will do is when the new data is imported and the description keys pick up on these two codes right of way and prop, they're going to place the points on the correct layers, they're going to assign the correct styles to those points and that'll happen at automatically as a function of the, the description key set. The next thing we want to look at setting up are some figure prefixes. So I'm going to close the description key editor, click the survey tab of the tool space, and edit the essentials figure prefix database. And I'm going to add similar entries for right of way and prop. So I'll click the plus sign, add the code ROW for right of way. The asterisk is not needed in this case. This is not a break line, but it is a lot line, meaning it's not going to contribute to the terrain model, but it is going to contribute to the property boundaries for the project. Layer, we can actually type this in as V R way for right of way, and the style is going to be basic, and the site is survey site. Another one, this time it's going to be prop, Again, not a break line, but yes, it is a lot line. Same layer, actually different layer, VPROP boundary. Style will be basic, and survey site again is the site. Haven't really been introduced to sites yet. You will learn about them later on in the book. Um, you can think of a site as a collection of objects that interact with one another. So now that we've set up the description keys and the figure prefixes, we're going to import some data and see if we've done it properly. So I'm going to launch the import survey data command and import data into the Essentials 6 database. The data source I want to use is a point file and I'll browse out to my chapter four, or Civil 3D 2014 Essentials chapter 3 folder 
and there we see property survey.txt. I'll open that up. It's the same format that we've been working with earlier in the chapter, PNEZD, comma delimited. We're not going to worry about a network. I do want to make sure that it's using the correct figure prefix database, the correct line work code set. I do want it to process line work during import. So I'll click finish on that and let's see how things go. Actually there's one more thing I need to do. It says once the once the data has been imported, we want to make sure that the style of this of this parcel is correct. So to change that, we're going to click on the parcel, go to parcel properties, change the parcel object style to property. And at first glance, everything looks really good. The right-of-way lines have come in on the using the correct style, so you can see that they're magenta with a broken line style. The property lines are the same. If we take a look at the points, you can see they have a square symbol representing the property corner. And they've got a different label configuration from other label, other point labels in the drawing. And that's all made possible through the description keys. The figure prefixes are what assign the styles to the lines and put them, um, had them displayed properly in the drawing. So it looks like everything went really well. Uh, the points were read properly, they were processed properly, as well as the line work. And we got to really see an, yet another example of the effect of description keys and figure prefixes on survey data being imported into the drawing. And that concludes the Essentials and Beyond for Chapter 3.